Hello friends, welcome to Skip Dictation Live. I'm Sherman. And today we're going to be doing SCP-1875. So a quick summary on what we're getting into. SCP-1875 is a living chess machine, just like that you have to use uh, in traveling shows back to amaze the world as you played chess against an uh, invisible opponent or something. And it's creepy, it's haunted, because uh, all skips are creepy and haunted. And the goal here is that we have a big creepy piece of samurai armor that sits in the other seat so that you can, quote, play against the computer, but then later on you find out that it's super creepy because it is on the inside the brains of two Russian twins. Now this is going to be a very heavy piece of work because it's going to have all sorts of special effects. We're going to need creepy background music. Hey Asimov, it's good to see you. It's going to be creepy music all the way through, as well as a lot of sensor beeps. Uh, when it comes to all of the strike through, because there's a whole lot of strike through and corrections in this piece, we're probably going to lower the pitch a little bit and then issue a correction after the fact. Those kind of change back and forth depending on what we are doing with them. If it's going to repeat itself but differently or if it's going to be like, correction, see following documentation. So, we will see where that comes to. And then, the big difference this one's going to have is we're going to be using the video format a little bit more. Because part of the fear in this is very much focused on the images. As you get down to SCP-1875 Addendum 4, it's actually... The equivalent in an SCP of a uh, screamer jump scare. Like you scroll down this infinite roll of like uploading, uploading, uploading at the bottom of the page. And then finally it's like, what? What's, why is this all this uploading? Uploading. Ah, creepy face. So it creeped me out when I read it right now. Uh, Baphomet Ben requested this in the comments and I was like oh man this is gonna be such a bitch to record and because it's just a giant wall of text but then you get to the bottom and that jump scare and I'm reading it in broad daylight and it creeped me out so yeah we're gonna see if we can make that happen uh, the addendums before that require a lot of static sound effects like creepy static online because it's supposed to be like corrupted documents in an email so we're going to do some creepy, if you've ever seen like The Ring where like the video skips happen, we might not do video skips like that, but we will do some uh, sound effects, static sound effects. Maybe something like if you are familiar with the Dot .hack series of anime slash video games, those will be the, uh, that kind of like weird jump skipping sound effect. That's kind of what I want to go for. And then... Let's see, we got the music, we got the strike throughs, we got a lot of redacted. Uh, we're gonna flip the images on the screen, and then we have the corrupted sound effects and the finale jump scare, which, I mean, I could do like a creepy, like, you know, be cheap and make a screamer, or I could go along and maybe not be a dick, maybe make a low, like, Boom noise. That way there's a noise, but it's not like the classic internet screamer scare. And uh, yeah, so once this gets recording, I will be able to answer comments in between takes. I have the uh, live stream pulled up on my laptop, so when I'm not recording in between takes, I can check out the comments and see what's going on. So yeah. Here goes the ride along. Let's see how long it takes me to make this happen. Whew. All right. Take one. Item number SCP-1875. Object class Euclid. Next scheduled November 77 exercise. In progress. Correction. Canceled. Authorized personnel login. Computer clicking sounds. Authorization confirmed. 
nope, hold on, wait, you see what I did? I tried to change my mind there. I'm using my deeper voice because I want this to be scary. And I've been told my happy SCP voice is good for more like strict documentation. But I want to use a little bit of a creepier voice to make this give it the atmosphere. But I will use the authorization required. I'll give that the higher pitch voice. That'll make a different character there. That'll give it a good vibe. Ah, yes, please don't hit any pedestrians and or police horses. Not the best of plans. All right, so let's see. Where can I keep that? I liked everything up to authorized personnel. So let's delete authorized personnel. Authorized personnel login. Computer clicking sounds. Authorization confirmed. Okay, so let's get rid of everything past that point. And then we're going to move my music stand a little bit so I can see the computer while I record because I do not have good studio headphones to record with. So I rely on seeing the sound wave file to be able to know if I'm going too loud and clipping. I usually keep my loud singer voice far away from the microphone. That way I don't blow it out. So... Item number SCP-1875, object class Euclid, next scheduled November 77 exercise, in progress, correction canceled. So now we go back to the starting point, back it up a little bit, and... Authorized personnel only. Computer clicking sound effect. Access granted. Explanation of recent containment procedure changes. Reset take. All right, so we're going to take everything I just did and pop it up next to the other file because that was a good computer voice. Uh, we're backing up this time because the next phrase is spoken by an O5. They get an even deeper, even creepier voice. So we will see what we have to make that happen. So now it's time for the O5s. Ready? And... Explanation of recent contagion... You're gonna see a lot of that. Explanation of recent containment procedure changes. We believe that computer networks at SCP-1875's holding site have been compromised. As a result, all electronic communications with the facility have been severed pending further notice. Overwatch headquarters has declared a moratorium on future November 77 exercises until such a time as we fully understand how 1875 transmits and receives wireless communication signals. Accordingly, I have amended these procedures with two clauses regarding number one, exposure of SCP-1875 to wireless data networks, and number two, treatment of individuals exposed to 1875 image 1AB. O5 boop. The boop sound is one you're going to get very familiar with, both because that's how I make sure to put a boop in there when I am recording, and because this is a very heavy boop episode. So there will be many boops. Boops aplenty. And yeah, sometimes lower voices, the lower the register, the quieter the voice, but I made sure to project and I got a good volume out of that so we can continue on. Special containment procedures. Oh god, I think that was 05 voice. I gotta go back and check. Law, 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 doing it wrong. I see we had two viewers in here Item for a moment. That's pretty well a miracle for what I thought no one would watch. Item number SCP-1875. Five. Object, Object class. So I've got to remember that my stationary, my normal voice is my normal voice right now. I don't want to go too deep unless I'm doing the 05. All right, here we go. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1875 must never come within trans- Gosh darn it. Well, I got Special Containment Procedures at least. 
Good job, me. High fives for everybody. Self five, Asimov. That one's for you. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Okay. Special containment procedures. SCP-1875 must never come within transmission range of any wireless data network. The machine's container must be enclosed by a Faraday cage, and it must have a fully mechanical locking mechanism. The holding site's full-time staff must include at least two network security experts, one armed security guard, and one child psychology specialist. When the machine is fully assembled and activated, the speed adjustment lever on SCP-1875-3 may not be set to 5, which is the maximum speed, without direct supervision by the site's level 4 supervisor. Electronic devices with data storage capacity may not be introduced to the facility, except during exercise 1875-November 77. Correction. See further documentation. And all individuals must be screened for such devices prior to entering the holding site. In the event of exercise 1875-November 77, Overwatch headquarters will permit one designated and clearly marked laptop computer to be taken into SCP-1875's primary shielded container. Upon completion of November 77, facility task... Upon completion of November 77, facility task... Facility staff, you mean. And yes, so we're going to go with a 30% voice pitch reduction for anything that is struck through. I found out during SCP-3999 that that makes a very good way of saying this is corrupted and should not be listened to. And then correction, see further documentation, further clarifies that. So, fast forward, cut the extra track. Upon completion of November 77... There we go. Moving on. Facilities. I can't say the word facility right now. Facility staff must ensure this designated laptop is shredded in the facility scrap metal shredder. Correction. Research data may only... Dad gum it. Correction. Just delete correction. We're going to add that on there. November 77. Facility. Little bit less space there. November 77. Facility staff must. Perfect. That sounds like a comma. All right. Back to the end. Correction. All right. So this one was a long paragraph that needs to be deleted and then. Correction. Research data. Okay. So that's an easy correction. Correction. Research data may only be removed from the container in the form of a paper printout. Any evidence of 1875 image 1AB exposure must be reported immediately to Overwatch headquarters. Description. SCP-1875 is a Victorian-era chest automaton consisting of four principal components, hereafter referred to as SCP-1875-1, SCP-1875-2, SCP-1875-3, and SCP-1875-4. SCP-1875-1, a steel chessboard table, 72 by 72 by 64 centimeters, with a standard 8 by 8 grid of 64 checkered squares painted on its surface. Based on its composition and patina, research staff have identified the exact material as English crucible steel, likely cast... All right, back it up. Eventually, you'll see me start to uh, not stop every time I make a mistake and just keep on running, but we'll get up to that speed. Especially since there's so much of this, I just got to keep it going. English Crucible Steel. All right, English Crucible Steel. Likely cast between 1820, boop, and 1870, boop. On boop, boop, 1990, boop, mobile task force, boop, boop, retrieved SCP-1875 from an abandoned laboratory facility discovered beneath the former residence of boop, university professor, boop, boop, 
in Boomshire, England. A drive shaft designated to connect. A drive shaft designed to connect. And by the way, you see what I mean about boops now. It's a little ridiculous. Typically, this would be far too many boops for me to deal with after actually having survived doing SCP-231. But I'm really curious about making this jump scare happen. So with that being super exciting, we're going to muscle through this. It's going to be great. Huzzah. So. In Boopshire, England. A drive shaft is what's next. Moving on. A drive shaft designed to connect with SCP-1875-3 protrudes from one side of the system's otherwise seamless enclosure. The table contains a sophisticated mechanical and biological system that controls a matrix of 64 electromagnets using an analytical engine composed of the combined brain tissue of the twin daughters, designated SCP-1875-1A and 1B, of Russian chess prodigy Each square on the chessboard surface sits above a single electromagnet, and each electromagnet can move one chess piece to one of eight neighboring squares. Researchers have developed several theories regarding the control mechanism's functional specif Researchers have developed several theories regarding the control mechanism's functional bah! Try to muscle through, but I've it up twice. Fucked it up. Have developed several theories regarding the control mechanism's functional specif Researchers have developed se researchers have developed several theories regarding the control mechanism's functional specif <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot, dude. I am glad this is actually interesting. I was curious about whether it would be or not. Uh, yeah, thankfully I've gotten one or two tiny freelance corporate contracts as a voice actor. I've worked with a couple English education companies doing voiceover for English speakers, but no, uh, no shows or radio plays or fiction yet besides what I have personally made. But who knows, maybe I'll start my own podcast and pull a night veil and make something popular. Who knows? All right, where are we? A drive shaft. That's right, we got from a drive shaft to... Neighboring squares. Electromagnet to neighboring squares. That is, where is that? It's to one of eight neighboring squares. Ah, okay, good, that paragraph. Yeah, sometimes you get really lucky with what you find on Craigslist. <laughs> Uh, there's always there's always something if you're willing to hustle and in making these videos I've really increased my skill at doing this so as long as you keep working opportunity comes along <laughs> all right and researchers have developed several theories regarding the control mechanisms functional specifications but the nature of its biological component and possible sentience remain unverified SCP-1875-2, a complete set of 32 chess pieces carved in the oriental style from human bone. I didn't mess up, I just don't like that take. I can make that sound a little less like a run-on sentence. A complete set of 32 chess pieces carved in the oriental style from human bone. Each piece is affixed with a thin, 0.31 centimeter, base pad of ferromagnetic iron. Samples of the bone used for the pieces have been matched genetically with tissue samples from SCP-1875-1A and SCP-1875-1B. Following the recovery of SCP-1875-1, an anonymous individual associated with Professor Curses. An anonymous, individ An anonymous individual is where we're going to start next. <laughs> Less silly. Well, that is... I, I can't attest to that. 
I think I look particularly silly, silly when I record. A complete set of 32 chess pieces. Although I will admit that I have a small background in theater acting as well, and I try and put myself into the headspace of whoever would be reading the document. So I have it said in my brain that I am actually a researcher reading this, and that character helps me to uh, think about it that way. Oh god, it's you, Sama. Hi, Sama. Uh, okay, yay. Da -da. Oh, you know other people. I don't know any other people, but nice. It's like, yes, Sama knows exactly my background. Okay, so where was I? Ah, see, Sama, yes, I took your advice. We're doing this now. All right, God, where was I? Distracted. Following the recovery of SCP-1875-1. Oh, distractions are completely fine. I'm enjoying playing along. Uh... Honestly, it makes this much more interesting than just kind of sitting here staring at a screen for an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, we don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, by the way, this is an extremely long skip. And sometimes I can knock these out in like 30 minutes, have them edited and put up in an hour. But I'm certain this one might be like a two-hour affair. So I'm going to record until I have to do something else. And then if we got to do a part two to finish recording this skip, we'll just come back to it. All right, so an anonymous individual following the recovery of SCP-1875-1, an anonymous individual associated with Professor Boops, a state submitted information to Foundation personnel regarding these chess pieces, leading to their subsequent discovery in the possession of Boop Boop in New York City's Washington State, in New York City's Washington Square Park. Let's edit out that cut part. All right, put it back in there. I did not make a mistake. You didn't hear it. An anonymous individual associated with Professor Boops, a state submitted information to Foundation. God, there's so many boops. These chess pieces, leading to their subsequent discovery in the possession of Boop Boop in New York City's Washington Square Park. Brilliant. Another paragraph down. All right, and then a small... All right, so we need computer voice for this one. No, don't start from there. What are you doing? View image. Computer sounds. Access granted. This is where the image of the chess pieces go. Reminder for myself. SCP-1875-3, a stationary steam engine manufactured by Maudsley, Sons, and Field, circa 1840. Also acquired from the estate of Professor Boop, and designed to spin 1875-1's drive shaft. And designed to spin SCP-1875-1's drive shaft. Alright, let's fix that. Missed the chess pieces, reminder for myself. 1875-3. Steam engine manufactured by Maudsley, Sons, and Field, circa 1840. Also acquired from the estate of Professor Boop, and designed to spin 1875-1's drive shaft. And designed to spin SCP-1875-1's drive shaft. Alright, fix that error, pick it up. I am using Audacity to clean up my audio. I have, over the course of doing this, I have made a lot of leaps and bounds in using the effects to change my voice for if I need, like, edit uh, scary voices or robot voices, uh, changing pitch or tempo. I've messed with, uh, Trunctuate Silence has kind of become my best friend. Uh, to cut down all the breaks that I make down to a second so it's a lot quicker to edit the spacing. Um, I've had a problem in the past where if I don't record a word loud enough, like if I trail off at the end of a sentence, it will actually cut off that word. So it's made me much more careful to stay close enough to the mic 
so that I'm getting decent sound so it won't delete words by accident. Um, noise reduction and normalize have been my best friend. Maybe I should do normalize before I noise reduce. No, because I get I imagine that noise reduction first is important to get out background noise. Otherwise, the normalize will make the background noise louder. I maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, noise reduce first. That's what I thought. And then let's see. Um, the hardest part about it is dealing with the multiple tracks. I kind of wish I had like a second computer screen. That way I could like separate the tracks more because sometimes I'll have like five background songs and three vocal tracks of like echoing and sound effects on different tracks with different gain volumes. And so it'll be hard to keep track of that. But other than that, Audacity has been great for me and free and free is the best. All right, where am I? Oh, real quick, respond back to a text. Do, 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 do. This is not part of the performance. Do, 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 do. I have a normal life of everyone else. Uh, da, da. Na, na. Na, na. Okay. Da, da, da. Boop. All right, back to work. All right, the last thing I said had to do with a drive shaft, right? 1875-1's drive shaft. All right. Do, 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 do. The engine has been modified from factory stock to allow speed adjustments. It has five seat... Well, it made it far that time. It has five seat... Ah. <laughs> uh. The one line at a time grind. Uh, Samba, when you get to using Trunctuate Silence, make sure you make a big deal of how much silence you want there. I'll usually set it to one second because I never want to silence longer than one second. Whereas I, if I want a smaller silence, like the comma's too long, I can cut it down and it'll cut most of those spots. But one time I put it down to like half a second trunctuate and everything was just too quick. So that is, that is my learned mistake there. Okay, one line of dialogue. Good job, the Sherman. has been modified from factory stock to allow speed adjustments. Oh, not home. End. Yes. That doesn't go on the tape. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. It has five speed settings labeled in Roman numerals. View image, computer keyboard sounds. Access granted. This is the image of the drive shaft. Pausing. Idea. Okay, we're going to think about this in the editing, but it says view image access granted and then the image shows underneath. So if you look at like the SCP itself, uh, if you want to see what we're recording while you're doing it and you have the time, I'm currently recording from www.scp-wiki.net slash SCP-1875. If you want to read along and see like what I'm looking at. But uh, what I've got is I've got blocks of text and underneath them are this hyperlink to view the image. Then it changes to access granted and it shows you the image. But it shows you the image after you read it, which makes sense in the context of a website. But if I were to take this opportunity and be artistic with the medium, I could put the view image right after the SCP number. So it would be like SCP-1875-3, view image, click, 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 access granted. And then while the image is up, I can describe it. A stationary steam engine manufactured by blah, 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 blah. 
that might be a cool idea. And that'll mean the image is up during its description. And then we skip on to the next one. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I recorded that because now I'll remember to do it. Yes, high five me. We're making art. This is the image of the drive shaft. Okay, we'll put that upstairs. Good job, me. Cut it up. Put it there. Has five speed settings labeled in Roman. View image. Computer keyboard sounds. This is the image of the drive shaft. All right, so this is the image of the drive shaft. All right, moving down. SCP-1875-4, a suit of 18th century samurai armor in the Gosuku style. Okay, gotta go back. Uh, there's a lot of parts I want to make sure I pronounce right. So I'm going to go to YouTube on... Yeah, I tend to ignore it. I started by just recording everything and cleaning up the edits, but I hate the editing process so much that I just do it while I'm recording so that I have less to do in the long run. Because, God, so mind-numbing. <laughs> um, okay, so, Gosuku. Gusoku. I, that's obviously not how you say it, but... All right, pronunciation. How to pronounce gusoku in Japanese. Ah, see, it's relaxing to you. I hate desk work. Oh, come on. You've got to have some pronunciations. Everything is pronunciated. How to pronounce YouTube? Well, that's not helping. <laughs> Gusoku. 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 Okay, so it's not any silent letters. That's nice. A silly thing that happens when I do this, I need to go in and, uh, what's the word I was looking for? Yeah, to hear things on my computer, I need to actually unplug my microphone. Because when I plug my mic into the USB, it actually does not allow sound to play except from Audacity. I don't know if that's a weird thing or not. It's just something I think is weird. 5-4 Cool, that was a good take Move it on up And back and forward A suit of 18th century samurai armor in the Gusoku style Arrived in storage case with SCP-1875-3 Courtesy of Professor Boops Estate Historical evidence suggests that SCP-1875-4 would have been situated on a chair beside the chess table, serving as a performance prop. Staff have not observed any objectively unusual activities. However, several visiting researchers have reported prolonged feelings of anxiety after making eye contact with armor's faceplate. With the armor's faceplate. However, several visiting... <laughs> However... Several visiting researchers have reported prolonged feelings of anxiety after making contact. Ah. So sometimes I find a weird phrasing in the document that I appreciate you, writer, and I love your work, and it's got 440-something likes, so obviously it's good. But sometimes their phrasing does not translate to speech well. So, however, several visiting researchers have reported prolonged feelings of anxiety after making eye, ton eye contact with Armour's faceplate. With the Armour's faceplate just sounds better audibly, I think. 
So those are like the only times I'll make changes to what the author has read because I try to be as authentic to the piece as possible unless by medium I have to make some changes. Where was I? Several visiting researchers have reported prolonged feelings of anxiety after making eye contact with armor's faceplate. With the armor's faceplate. I wonder if I can just splice that in and call it done. Maybe it'll fit. With armor's faceplate. Contact with the armor's faceplate. Ooh, I may have done it. After making eye contact with the armor's faceplate. Yes! I don't have to do it again and stumble over all those words. I succeeded. Oh yeah. Cut it up, cut it up, add it to the other track. Because we are moving on. All right. Samurai Gusuku, staff of not observed, feeling anxiety. Ah, yes. Computer voice. View image. Keyboard sounds. Access granted. Addendum 01, intake report. Authorized, God, computer voice, authorized personnel only. Fix that. Cut it up, that was good. Jesus Christ, there are three people watching this? Hi, three people. I had not intended anyone to watch this today. I am very blessed and surprised. And I hope my microphone talking is entertaining. All right. Did I get that right? Addendum 01. Intake report. Oh, hey, Toad King. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. All right. Moving on. Addendum 01. Intake report. Authorized personnel only. Keyboard sounds. Access granted. SCP involved, 1875. Personnel involved, boop, boop. Intake analyst, date, boop, boop. 1990, boop. Location, site, boop. Description, SCP-1875 appears to be a fully mechanical chess playing machine from the mid 19th century. Unlike other early mechanical chess devices, all right. So that is going to be a really weird correction because if, uh, if you listen to the paragraph, SCP-1875 appears to be a fully mechanical chess playing machine, but the fully mechanical are the only words corrected. Now, typically if they do a whole sentence, I can like issue a correction at the end or... Because I'm going to use that, like, deeper voice adjust to make it seem like it's scratched out like I did in SCP-3999. But the first thing I have to do in this case... Let me cut that line real quick. Like other early mechanical chess devices. Yeah, I've messed that up anyways. How far did I get? SCP-1875 appears to be. So we'll start there. Cut it up, cut it up. Cut and paste. All right, so now we get into a phase called Think About the Art, where I sit here like a dummy for a second and try to figure out how to best portray this. SCP-1875 appears to be a fully mechanical chess playing machine from the mid-19th century. Correction, see further documentation. Actually, I think that still works. I think that's going to go. Okay, let's try it. Otherwise, I'll go into the editing phase, I'll fidget with it, and then I'll get mad and re-record later. I'll run the live stream on that if I do like a full session, if it's not just like cleanup cuts, because we don't need cleanup cuts. That's like a 10 minute recording sesh. God, I'm such a douchebag. Recording sesh? Ah, okay. SCP-1875 appears to be a fully mechanical chess playing machine from the mid 19th century. Correction. See further documentation. Unlike other early mechanical chess devices, see Standage Tom, The Turk, The Life and Times of the Famous 18th Century Chess Playing Machine, 
SCP-1875 does not appear to be designed to conceal a human operator within its case. SCP-1875 was built for the same purpose as contemporaneous devices, as a traveling curiosity, designed to be played by volunteers before a group of spectators, who would be charged an emission... I got contemporaneous right on the first try and I couldn't say the word charged. <sighs> Damn it. Who would be charged and miss? <sighs> Who would be charged? It hasn't happened yet because the word hasn't come up, but one day, if you're watching this live stream, the word occurs is my worst enemy. Every time I try to say the word occurs on the fly, it comes out as occurs. Yes, it occurs to me. Of course. Uh. Group of spectators. Who would be charged an admission fee? I'm trying to find my place in the text. I gotta make sure I keep moving it up so I don't get lost. There we go. Who would be charged an admission fee? Who would be charged and charged, charged. It's, I'm trying to say charged as one syllable rather than three. Charged, 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 charged. If I say it a hundred times, it'll become natural again. Charged. Who would be charged an admission fee? Identities of several of the machines... Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the sad midsection of the recording where everything goes wrong every time I try and speak. Who would be charged an admission fee? Oh, and the recording failed when I tried to uh, record that, so I have to go back and fix the part I succeeded on either. Who would be charged an admission fee? Identities of several of these machines is... Who would be charged an admission fee? Nope, I didn't like that. I didn't think I did. Who would be charged an admission fee? Who would be charged an admission fee? Who would be charged an admission fee? I like that one. Who would be charged an admission fee? Identities of several of the machine's previous owners are known. See... Boop! See... But reliable information regarding its original designers and fabricators remains elusive. When questioned about the origin of SCP-1875, a representative from the estate of Professor Boop directed us to a Russian newspaper clipping, see Boop, found among the professor's belongings. The article concerns the disappearance of the twin 14-year-old daughters of Russian chess champion the article concerns the disappearance of the twin 14-year-old daughters of Russian chess champion I gotta listen to that and see if I got it right the second time. Who would be charged an admission fee? Identities of several of the machine's previous owners are known. See, boop. See, boop. All right, let's cut that first bad take. Are known. See, boop. But reliable information regarding its original designers and fabricators remains elusive. When questioned about the origin of SCP-1875. A representative from the estate of Professor Boop directed us to a Russian newspaper clipping. See, Boop, found among the professor's belongings. So many boops. The article concerns the disappearance of the twin 14-year-old daughters of Russian chess champion. The article concerns the disappearance concerns Boop. I think I got that right. Found among the professor's belongings. The article concerns the disappearance of the twin 14-year-old daughters of Russian chess champion. Actually, no, that sounded really good. I did not do it wrong like I thought I did. Yes. Okay, screw all of that. And let's go cover that. I fixed it by not breaking it. High fives all around. And Russian chess champion. Boop, boop. All right. Boop, 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 boop. It's, it's not a voiceover. It's a fucking telegram. And... Russian chess champion. Boop, boop. On. Boop, boop. 18. Boop. 
Subsequent historical records indicate that the girls were never found and that Russian authorities failed to identify the persons responsible. However, we have yet to establish any connection between these events and SCP-1875. Correction. See further documentation. Evidence of the machine's public appearances beginning in the 18... Drat. Evidence of the machine's public appearances beginning in the 18... I gotta listen to both Asimov's and Toad King's recordings, because I have not yet. See further documentation. But, I say, I, I don't know about you guys, but the thing that keeps me going on this, the way I do it, is just an anal retentive want to put out the best possible product. And going through draft after draft after draft, uh, I look back at some of my older stuff, uh... I started doing these recordings, what, like three years ago or something? And definitely three years ago, my recordings, I let a lot of things slide. And then I came, I went away for a year, got busy with other projects. And so I came back and I just got really strict, as professional as I can possibly be with, you know, my ironing board, fancy blanket recording studio. Oh, God, I hate my voice after... Oh, especially because I don't think my voices separate as much as I would like them to. Yeah, the ghetto rig. It used to be a whole blanket fort. I used to have to crawl under this thing, but it gave me back aches. So this is my invention so that it's like a soundproof box for the microphone. Uh, Sam, I think we all hate our voices. Uh, oh, yes, but long story short is I feel like as long as you try to work like a professional and put out the best product, then you're going to go back and make better takes. You're going to go back and find music. You're going to make the right, the best thing you can make. Uh, as much editing, as much takes as it takes. As many takes as it takes. It's a bed foam pad in a closet. Yeah, I, I initially did... Uh, I tried the closet thing. My closet is not big enough. I learned that from a uh, Matt Pat on uh, Game Theory. I watched his recording closet style with all the coats, and that was my first idea. But I am six foot tall, and my closet is not big. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter closet, but like half the size, so I can barely stand it in the first place. Okay, I forgot what I messed up, so let's uh, go back to here. Where was I? Correction. See further documentation. Correction. See further documentation. Excellent. Da -da -da -da. See further documentation. Evidence of the machine's public appearances beginning in 18... Boop! Under the name The Samurai have been found in Russian, British, and American newspaper archives. See... The last recorded appearance of the samurai occurred on April boop, 1906 in San Francisco, California. Its owner at the time, sideshow proprietor Mr. Boop Boop, perished in the aftermath of the earthquake that struck San Francisco later that month. SCP-1875 was presumed to have been destroyed as well until its recent discovery by the Foundation. After assembling the components of SCP-1875 at the site boop, intake facility, we have begun testing the device for anomalous properties. Addendum 02, Incident 1875-55A. Authorize, mm -mm. just stop right there, going back. Not even gonna mess with that. <laughs> Forgot that authorized personnel is computer voice again. Computer voice, so much nicer than my regular voice. All right. Authorized personnel only. Computer keyboard sounds. Access granted. Source 1875 boop. Inbox archive. File 1875 boop. From 1875 boop. Department research director. To DL 1875. 
Subject, regarding test 1875-55. Date, 11-77-1999. Correction, 11-07-1999. 1658. Time code, 1658. Personnel only. Computer keyboard sounds. Access granted. Source 1875 boop. Inbox archive. File 1875 boop. From 1875 boop. Department research director. To DL. <laughs> yeah, I had to think about that one for a second. There's some underscores on either side of the DL, so I was like, what do I say here? DL Subject regarding test 1875-55. Date 1177-1999. Correction 1107-1999. 16. Yeah, there are sacrifices that have to be made to redactions. Uh, sometimes they like to do this thing where they put one letter behind the redaction. So it's like P and a black box as one word, or they give the first letter of the professor's name as an M, but they block the rest. And I could do like Mabu or Pabu or Habu, but I don't think it sounds as good as recording as it looks. So I don't think it's a big deal. Ah, cool. Fan. For some reason, I thought you meant that like you and Toad recorded, but cool, groovy. Everyone's on board. Creeps McPasta. Oh, did it autocorrect to creepypasta? Does that mean creepypasta is a word? <laughs> New Webster's. Where was I? Messing things up. Time code 1658. Got it. Time code 1658. Because it had the date, but it did not... Uh, say time code and I didn't want to, anyone to be confused what 1658 was. Moving on. Upon complete... <laughs> Upon complete assembly, it was confirmed that SCP-1875 chess hardware is fully operational. In this test, a modern chess computer with variable strength software... A modern chess computer... Oh, Foundation After Midnight. I think I've heard of that. Nice. In this test, a modern chess computer with variable strength software. I think I saw that on our SCP or something. I don't know where I heard of it, but I was like, oh, it's like Night Vale, but for SCP, that's really cool. 1658. Upon complete assembly, it was confirmed that SCP-1875 chess hardware is fully operational. Yeah, I was a huge fan of Night Vale for a long time until I realized that listening to it while driving made me fall asleep because of the smooth jazz voice. And like even during the daytime. And then I never stopped doing things. So I don't have a lot of time to listen to podcasts in my day-to-day -day life. So I am not as caught up on Night Vale as I would like to be. But I did love it while I was listening to it because I love that surreal Cthulhu-esque kind of idea of art. It's what drew me to the SCP stuff in the first place. Five chess hardware is fully operational. Fully upper. Yes, it is a real word. Ha <laughs> ha. In this test, it, ah, yes, there we go. In this test, a modern chess computer with variable strength software was used to measure SCP-1875's analytical intelligence. We positioned one member of Class D personnel, 1875-D1, in containment with the machine, seated behind the chessboard's black side and facing 1875-4, which we positioned behind the white side. Five chess games were played, one on each of the steam... Me, 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 me. Which we positioned behind the white side. Five chess games were played, one on each of the steam... Let's 
leave that there for now. We'll fudge with it later. This test, a modern chess... Five chess games were played. Well, you know what they say. I'd always rather be busy than bored, right? In this test, modern. Do good work, man. We'll see you next time. Chess games were played. One in each of the Steam Engine speed settings. One on each of the Steam Engine speed settings. Instructions were provided through wireless speakers from behind plexiglass shielding to move each piece. 1875-D1 remained unharmed and returned to site BOO for next assignment. Here's a quick list of the chest strength at each setting as estimated on ELO, ELO rating system? What do we call that, guys? I don't know nothing about chess. I learned how to play chess from an iPhone app. <laughs> I could beat beginner mode? <laughs> Estimated on. All right. Elo, Elo, Elo. I don't know what you are. E L O. Pronunciation. Chess. What do you got for me? Oh. Oh, forgot to take my microphone out. Say the word. I need you to say it with much less of an accent if you can. I mean, I understand that it's a Hungarian name now. I have learned that. Elo or Elo, silent H in both. Stop talking about umlauts and tell me how to pronounce it. No one wants to know how to write it. We all want to know how to say it. Come on. E is a long high E. Almost an E, but almost an I. O is a long vowel similar to Schroeder. Schroeder? Elo. <laughs> the, the O with an umlaut sound is not found in English. You are making me sad. Can, is there another? Does anyone talk about him? Give me something, guys. Ah, oh, man, someone, someone asked me to record something with like a giant German phrase in it once. Thankfully, they responded back when I messaged them on the SCP site. They gave me a phonetic pronunciation. Elu. I think I'm going to go with Elu if I can't find anything else. Okay, so you're here because you want to know a little bit more about ELO. Well, let's find out where and how it come about and then move on to how it works. The ELO rating system was created by a Hungarian physics professor by the name of Arped Emerick ELO, who was a master level player and this guy is saying E-L-O every time. He's calling him Arpad E-L-O. It's not E-L-O. I know that much, dude. <laughs> I was really hoping like this biography of him would say it. That way I would just, he'd say it by accident and I'd be able to listen. No, that guy's not helping me. Come on. Catch up to me, Google. Do not confuse with electric light orchestra. Got it. So 
So I'm gonna say Elu, because that's what the Hungarian woman sounded like she said. We're just gonna have to go with that. <laughs> yeah, the Hungarian woman said like Elu, um, like the E had two syllables and the O had two syllables, but it sounded like an E sound. So I'm gonna go with Elu, like in lieu of almost. I think that sounds fancy enough. All right. Game, set, match. That's tennis, not chess. Here's a quick list of the chess strength at each setting, as estimated on the ELU rating system. We're confident about the numbers measured on settings 1 through 4. Setting 1, 800 to 1,000 ELU. Setting 2, 1,000 to 1,200 ELU. Setting 3, 1,200 to 2,500 ELU. Setting 4, 2,500 to boop ELU. Setting 5, 0 to boop. It says 0 to boop, but then there's a question mark in parentheses after it. I could say questionable or unknown. I could say see further notes regarding setting five. Let's move everything else up. Setting five. Zero to boo. Zero to boop. See additional notes. That's what I'm going to go with. See additional notes. Test on setting five remained the outlier, and so we performed additional test. I just really don't like that sentence. And so we performed additional tests. Although it might be because this is a report written by a person, like a scientist, rather than like the standard subject matter. So maybe we can go with that. That's fine. Shouldn't assume. If I were a smart guy, I would be writing these. See additional notes. Test on setting five remained the outlier. And so we performed additional tests with chess proficient researchers. See file 1875-V, boop, games, boop, through, boop. Initially, SCP-1875 exceeded, boop, ELU. A boop, increase, percent increase from the maximum rating measured in our setting four tests. I forgot the percent symbol there. I got to put that back. Increase, percent increase from... Percent increase from the maximum rating measured in our setting four tests. Ugh. The strange sitting posture and the shoulders and back got a stretch. Mm. Okay. Cut that. Move it on up to the east side with the deluxe apartment in the sky. And end. Seated bloop elu, a percent increase from our maximum rating measured in our setting for test. After game boop, it's probably too fast. Have good stream and twitching and cosplaying. See you later.
Say, I gotta catch one of your streams. I'm not often on Twitch, but I'll see if I can catch one one of these times. And... After game, boop! SCP-1875 chess play was marked by illogical moves. During game, boop! Illegal moves were observed, forcing us to abandon games in progress. This activity was seen more frequently as testing progressed. After game, boop! Erratic peace movement was observed. The speed at which SCP-1875 moved its pieces increased, and it began to violently ram pieces together on the board. Several chess pieces were chipped, and we decided to... And we decided to cease te and we decided to cease testing until we can determine a way to proceed without causing more damage. Staff currently suspects that setting five may be malfunctioning due to excess age and wear. Sometimes the word cease can get a little weird depending on the word it follows. Several chess pieces were chipped, and we decided to and we decided to and we decided to cease testing until we can determine a way to proceed without causing more damage. Staff currently suspects that setting 5 may be malfunctioning due to excess age and wear. Alright, good game. Moving it up. Alright. And... Five minutes later... The following list was sent to all members of the SCP-1875 email distribution list. From 1875-boop, research analyst, to DL-1875. Subject, regarding, forward, regarding, test 1875-55. Date, 1177-1999. Correction. 11 7 1999 timestamp 1703 attachment oh there's random russian oh what am i gonna do with that okay let's go back and fix that thing i did earlier i need to see what i said in the earlier date at the beginning of the first email to see what i said if it was 11 7 or 11 7 so that's what we're going back to first. After game, boop. Way further back. In containment with the machine, seated behind the chest. Little further back. Subject regarding test one eight seven five. All right, here we go. Date eleven seventy seven nineteen ninety nine. Correction eleven oh seven nineteen ninety nine. Dang it, I got it wrong both times. 11 07 1999. Timestamp 1703. Attachment. Alright, so we'll start here. 11 07 1999. 11 07 1999. And we cut that and paste it back where I made the first mistake. Do 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 11-7-1999. Get rid of that. Back it up. Boop. 11-77-1999. 11-07-1999. Did I not say the word correction? Correction. 11-7-1999. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Correction. 11-07-1999. Timestamp. 17-03. Attachment. All right. Time to look up some weird Russian. Yeah. Wax... Wax my table 
is what it looks like. Wax my table. That's the that's the stuff. Okay, new tab. Copy and paste. Google, I need you to tell me a story about waxing my table. I don't know what that is. Doo -doo -doo. First of all, translate. Is that chess in Russian? say it Shakhmate. Shakhmate. cool that is I would not have known that and now I learned something really cool about this SCP because you learn things about these when you do this the attachment is called chess dot whatever 17.2 megabytes and uh, let's say it again Shakhmate. Shakhmate. Shahmate. Shahmate. All right. Good luck, me. Here we go. Trying to say Russian things. Probably not going to go well. And. Shahmate. Dot. Who? 17.2 megabytes. A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, F6. You know what? This is supposed to be creepy, so I'm going to put on the creepy music for a bit and say this in a low register and give it the creepy voice treatment, which is lower than the edited treatment. All right, just don't make it weird, bro. Whatever you do. Shakmate dot boop. Seventeen point two megabytes. Did I say that right? Shakmate. Yeah, that sounds right. Shakmate. Okay. Shock the monkey. Oh oh. All right. A1, B2, C3. Wait. Okay. So, spoiler alert. This is all terrifying little Russian girl twins. So, do I have to do a creepy little girl voice? Because that's going to be ridiculous. Like, what? All right, this is the part of the stream where you get to see me try and make ridiculous voices. What if I went... Like, to be honest, I'm going to make like a squeaky voice, but then I'm going to try to put it in the voice edit and adjust the pitch to make it sound maybe tinny or higher pitched or both. I'm going to adjust it so that maybe it sounds less... Weird than what I got going just normally. So what if I went... A1 B2 C3 D4 E5 F6 H7 G8 Hmm. Okay, so gosh. All right, so I'm going to do that. That voice is going to work. It's going to be weird, but I mean, Russian girl voice, that's what I'm going to get is weird. But the image is supposed to be on screen, but redacted somehow. So I might have to like put the photo up, but then put like a big black bar over it that says redacted, like make my own picture to make it like seem like it's image redacted. Yeah, I could do that. We're going big. Go big or go home, right? Okay. Recording. A 
one, B two, C three, D four, E five, F six, H seven, G eight. Ooh, maybe I can like echo them and make them really creepy and layered somehow. And I can put like a creepier sound effect over this part. Like I've got a couple creepy sound effects. And so I'll use like the basic track for most of it. But then for stuff like this, I'll put like a specific creepy sound. Cool. Yeah, that'll art. That'll make it make good. All right. One eight seven five dash image one a b is an image file that appeared in the body of the. I don't know if I said a dash when I said that earlier. I have to go all the way back to the top, and see what the o five said. O five. What did the o five say about this image? Procedures with two clauses regarding number one. Exposure of SCP-1875 to wireless data networks. And number two, treatment of individuals exposed to 1875 image 1AB. Yeah, I didn't use a dash in there. Good. Going back to check. Because I shouldn't have said the dash in that last part. It's an image file that appeared in the body of the... Nope, I did it wrong. Just delete the whole thing. Try again. 1875 image 1AB is an image file that appeared in the body of the suspicious email above. It has been removed from this report due to unknown memetic Unknown memetic I felt like a Muppet. I'm like beaker. Properties! It has been removed from this report. It has been removed from this report. So we can back that up to the top. And we can try again. It has been removed from this report due to unknown memetic properties. 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 Sometimes you forget to take a breath before you record and that's just dumb. Take a breath first. It has been removed from this report due to unknown memetic properties, which caused an adverse reaction in boo personnel who unintentionally viewed it while checking email on 11-07-1999 before others could be notified. The image appears to be a black and white photograph of two young girls, though first-hand accounts describe it as a though first-hand accounts describe it as though first-hand accounts describe it as distorted or stretched in a visually disturbing manner. Do, 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 do. Describe it as distorted or stretched in a visually disturbing manner. Good. To the end, here we go again. Shakmate? Shakmate. Shakmate.boop is an executable file written to control subtle background movements in S. Gosh darn it. Shakmate.boop is an executable file written to control subtle background movements. Movements. Shakmate.boop is an executable file. Written to control subtle background movements in 1875 image 1AB. It is theorized to drive 1875 image 1AB's memetic effect, though researchers have yet to confirm this. The reaction to 1875 image 1AB exposure was characterized by symptoms T plus zero exposure, mild anxiety, T plus 15 minutes, headache, elevated body temperature, T plus two hours, Restlessness, insomnia, auditory hallucination reported, often heard as quiet, childlike laughter. T plus four hours. Visual hallucination reported, intense anxiety. 
T plus seven hours. Subjects remain conscious. Subjects remain conscious, though increasingly unresponsive to external stimuli. Let's go back and fix that piece. Intense anxiety. T plus seven hours. Subjects remain conscious. And keep rolling. Increasingly unresponsive to external stimuli. Let's cut rid of that click right there. Whoops. Making sounds. All right, external stimuli. T plus 11 hours. Brief period of lucidity. Subjects appear to recover and will demand immediate access to computer on which 1875 image 1AB was viewed. T plus 12 hours. Self-mutilation observed. T plus 14 hours. Boop! Reminder. The first priority for responding to any 1875 image 1AB exposure scenario must be removing the exposed persons from their workstations immediately and isolating them from all networked computers. 05. Dang it, that's an 05. I gotta go fix that voice now. Drat! What was I? Reminder. The first part. It's a reminder, but it's gotta be in a lower, scarier voice. Reminder, the first priority for removing, responding. Reminder, the first priority for responding to any 1875 image 1AB exposure scenario must be removing the exposed persons from their workstations immediately and isolating them from all networked computers. 05, boop. All right, we're getting there. Last two addendums. We've almost made it to the end of this marathon. Ha! Not bad for this piece of long tail, long form. Cut that up. Get to the end. All right, this is where things get weird because it's like corrupted email sounds. So that means that there's not much here because it's going to be corrupted sounds. Like all sorts of creepy stuff like the old lease in 3999. Oh God, okay, so this is the weird one because it's got all sorts of corrupted stuff. That's cool, I'm gonna do noises, uh, digital effects, sound effects. But then there's the creepy email with the creepy girls and beyond that, beyond that, I need the uh, SCP itself has that cool little hack dealie where it, What's the word I'm looking for? Where it takes your username on the SCP site and drops it in. So for me, it says, we see you, the Sherm. And at this point all the way down, that's supposed to be super creepy if you're already creeped out. And it is for like one second. You're like, oh, stupid website. I know that trick, but it's still scary. So you know what? Because this creepy Russian girl voice thing, um, maybe I can get... Uh, she already left, but maybe Sam will record me a couple lines real quick. I'll give her a ring when I'm done with this real quick. But So I'm going to leave that for now because if I can get creepy girls to do the creepy chess voice and this email voice, that would be much better than using my male voice. And like we'll do some editing effects and make it like a creepy like The Shining Harmony where they like sing or something or Freddy Krueger, tiny girls. So okay, static sounds. So I just got to do the ademptum. Ademptum, the addendum recording line, and then, and then it's the creepy freaking thing of everything. God, I hate that picture so much. Uh, I'm hoping it's super creepy when I put it in the video. Ugh, gross, gross, hate you. Okay, so all I need is so yeah all I need is to get the addendum words addendum zero three 
Incident one. No, that's not that voice. Addendum zero three. Incident one eight seven five fifty five B. Crud! Did I say dash in there earlier? I don't remember what was the. It's been a long time since the last addendum. The last addendum was right before the email regarding the chest speeds. Stand accounts describe it as distorted. Oh, that's not nearly far enough. Setting one, eight hundred to one thousand. Not far enough yet. Jump, jump, jump. Instructions were provided through wireless speakers from behind plexiglass. Three more times. Jump, 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 jump. This test, a modern chess computer with variable strength software, was used to measure SCP-187. Nope. Still not there. Jump, jump, jump. Two. DL-1875. Subject. Regarding test 1875-55. Computer keyboard sounds. There we go. Access granted. Source. 1875-boop. Inbox archive. Wait, one more jump. Only. Computer keyboard sounds. Nope. A little bit further. A little bit further. Incident 1875. Nope. Addendum 02. Addendum 02. Gotcha. Almost there. Almost there. Skip to the end. What did I just record? Addendum 03. Incident 1875-55B. God, I suck. I did the addendum right, but I was actually looking for the dash 55A or dash 55B. I messed up so bad. Now I got to go back again. Rats. Magats. Slams my gams. Authorized personnel only. A little bit further. 1875-55A. Dash 55A. Good. Dash 55A. Addendum 03. Incident 1875-55B. I wonder if I can just sneak a dash in there. Dash. Dash, 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 techno song, dash, 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 dash. Maybe? 5 dash 55B. 5. Incident 1875 dash 55B. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's garbage. Not good enough. I didn't say it right. Cut that. Put it up there. Put it at the end. Incident 1875-55B. Authorized personnel only. Computer keyboard sounds. Corrupted. 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 And we'll throw those in and they'll be super creepy along the background of weird staticky noises. And then we'll get someone else on board for that. So cut that up. Put it up there. Boom. Boom. Ending. And. Addendum 04. Exercise 1875, November 77. Authorized personnel only. Keyboard sounds. Corrupted. 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 Oh, wait, I gotta add the uploadings too. Oh, this is gonna get weird. There's gonna be all sorts of weird overlay. It's gonna be super creepy. Shock Mate. Shock Mate. Shock Mate. Uploading. 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 Uploading, 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 uploading. And then creepy thing. Oh no. Okay. That is the end of raw recording for SCP 1875. All I'm going to do now is get a hold of a female friend of mine to get some uh, female voice for those two little bits. Otherwise, 
congratulations. This is the first live stream of an SCP recording. I'm going to take care of the editing off screen because that is, I thought this might be boring, but that's going to be hideously boring. So we'll probably edit this over the course of, let's see, it's five o'clock here. So probably we'll be done for the day. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll probably get to editing, depending it'll take maybe an hour or two. And yeah, this should be up either tomorrow or the next day. So keep in touch. Keep, uh, keep an eye out. Thanks, guys. Again, I'm Sherman. This has been Skip Dictations Live, number 1875. First live chat. Great success. Four more people watching than I thought would watch. Have a good one. See you next video.